Right then, I'm up on the main link route now. Limestone link, I think it's called. I've just come up from down in that valley. I didn't walk all the way along, so I wanted to make sure I was going in the right place. I could have gone up another route a woman showed me, but uh, I really need to be going this way. So, there's lots more exploring can be done over here. If I can't get to Cheddar anymore, then I'll, there's plenty to look at over here. Look at this beautiful oak tree. You're gorgeous, aren't you? Aren't you gorgeous? I love you. I love all this place. I'm so glad to be out here and I can do the fort. It's warmed up now. It might be windy on the top. I've got sort of A plans and B plans in place. So far, everything's gone to plan. I've skirted the base of the hill fort on the other side. I also, I'm sure that was the woman I saw earlier, you know, with that dog. I also, um, got to see Burlington Church. I didn't spend a lot of time there, mainly because it's all unknown about how much time it takes. So basically it's a recce day. We've done baseline knobs if you like. There's the big wood and that is I, I, I skirted that big wood. Apparently it's a private wood the old Mendip Lodge area. And look at that, folks. I can see a cow or a horse up there. Hello, lush green at the moment. And of course, the, if you look at the ferns, they're not very tall. They harvest them now, but they will get tall. And before they got tall, there were bluebells, like a purple haze here, probably. I missed it, I was a bit late. Anyway, we're going to come to, in a minute, we'll come to a very broad track known as, anyone guess? Known as the Parade. I call it the Parade because it leads, this is it, it in a minute, we're not there yet. It leads down from the top a broad pathway and it takes you down to Barrington. Now if we look behind me now, if we look behind me, let's go over here. We've got Burrington Coombe. I didn't climb yet today. It can all be done another time. See? There's Burrington Coombe. I've climbed it. I have done it before. But and there's various pathways up. There's the Westings and the no, the e Westings and the Eastings streams that run down, and uh, they might be dry. They might have a bit of water in them. I've just seen some bloke walking down there a minute ago. Um, I just want to stop and take a picture, so I've got to turn off a minute. So there we've got the beautiful area of outstanding natural beauty. And you've got Burrington Coombe over there. Look. I'm just going to turn off the picture. I'm really pleased with what I've achieved. All these various paths link, link up with different parts of the area of outstanding beauty. And there will be horses. I can see horses with the naked eye. They could be cows at this distance, right up over there. But you do get big herds of horses and cows up here. Of course, if I'd followed that link road up, that would have been, to be quite honest, very, very unpleasant doing a road walk uphill. Uh, I prefer doing what I'd done up that uh, stream. I would do that again. I would do that again if I had to go up. Soon we'll get groups of youngsters out here doing their map reading, orienteering, camping. Um, and look at that now. I know I've videoed it a thousand times, I have, but I always, it's a new day, it's a new experience. It's the 30th of May 2023. 
and I'm still getting out here folks even though I can't go back to cheddar so, like I said though because I can't use cheddar anymore I'm exploring different areas it's made me look for other places and I'm doing it whereas if I got stuck in my rut of my old walks which I did enjoy I'd never think oh I used to think oh I wonder where that goes now I try it out I do it now now we're reaching the parade and the crossroad and I'm going straight across but if you wanted to join up further down there's that link road that come out in Burrington Coombe again uh, when I emerged from the small track to my left it was coming up this way which I didn't do um, and I'm glad I never went up that way I'm glad I'd done what I intended to do which was to explore the other side now I haven't done the weaving in and out yet because there was that loop that I could have explored there are other areas deep within that I haven't done yet that I can keep that for another time now here is the parade going down to Burrington Coombe linking up with Link Cottage Link Road and coming out on the busy road down at the Coombe I could have come up this way but I loved the way I came up and I'll do it again and it wasn't anywhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be then if we look up there that's the way home to Pint to Cheddar you go up there you go to Tynion's Farm you go over to Piney Slights and down through Cheddar can't do it no bus the other thing I can do though if I want is climb up the top and head back down through Robera Warren and that will be a walk I will be doing this summer I will probably do that sort of walk <sighs> What I'm doing now is a route I know well and it won't be muddy on this occasion and uh, it's going to take me up to the Blowy Hill Fort it's going to take me up to the Blowy Hill Fort and I've got to decide when I'm on top whether to go back following not the route I took back to Sanford a couple weeks ago in that lovely wood it was lovely but I it was um I had to cl climb over a barbed wire fence I th I don't think I would do that one today I think I would do the the original route so anyway we're gonna it's a lovely place for picnics there I've stopped there myself before um and there's all part of the Mendip Lodge wood I didn't really explore the lookout very well. I think I need to do that again. And it doesn't take you long to get there. As long as you don't have any cows in that very first field. In that very first field. And there weren't any today. I expect it's jumpy, shaky, jerky, the video but I don't care I'm out here and I'm bloody enjoying it and I'm glad I got out here and I'm glad the grey skies and the cold wind have gone it's a lovely warm wind now it's breezy but it's beautiful over and out right folks more video saying farewell to Burnton Coombe for now could be a place I visit a lot more This is little cops here that people shelter and have picnics and stuff. Um, And it does get filled up with water as well, quite a lot here. I'm just waiting for a couple, they seem to be lurking. Like, like they don't know where they're going. I'm just trying to, I've been waiting for them to pass actually, but it's given me a chance just to do a bit more videoing this beautiful area. Um, 
I'll wait till I can't see them. And they can't see me. But isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's privacy when you're out here, isn't it? Privacy. It's a lovely little patch, this. They might not know where they're going either. And we're all, when we're like that, we are slower because we're taking in reference points to remind us where we are. So. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a stalker in the bushes. You know, people see people with cameras, they're suspicious of them, especially if you're a bloke, I think. Well, I'm enjoying this because I've, that early bus just took a lot of pressure off. And it only cost me two quid. Until the 30th of July, the buses are two pound. There's Robert Warren at the tall pine trees. Yeah, I've got no indigestion. I've had, um, what have I had to eat? I've had... I've had some juice, a banana and a bounty. That usually, those two things seem to work well together. And they don't always give me indigestion, those two items. I've had one of my juices, I've still got two bottles of water and another juice left and two oranges. Now in a minute we'll come to a junction up here where there's a pathway going all the way down. You follow it and you link up with that link minor road into Burrington. It's down there, you follow it down. I've done all that, that's the first time when I, one of the first times I did Burrington I went that way. And I think I had to climb back up it as well, so I remembered the hill. Today I had a much easier way up and it was very pleasant. And I was glad I met that guardian woman. Because she, she helped me rem how, how, how to go up. She, she, she guided me for you know, a quarter of it. And then, because I, I knew I'd be on familiar ground very soon. And there were some caves. Um, and now it, the day is beautiful now and I am so glad to be out here. I am really glad. I love this place. When I'm out here I never want, really want to go home. I do want to go home but I don't because I live in a flat. I tell people that. And your flat can become, what do they call it? Cabin fever. It does become a cabin or worse, a box. where you can look out to someone else's garden, but it ain't yours, and you ain't got one. I mean, I used to have a massive garden when I had my own house, 135 foot long, it was. Yeah, south facing. Now, that's the way you go to Burrington. If you come down from the fort from that way, that's the way to Burrington, okay? And then if you keep on the track, You'll come to, we come to several junctions. There will be a junction where you can either skirt the fort again and go along a track I did not long ago. Because we're, we're going to be entering, not yet, we're not entering, this is probably all the hill fort really, right? That's farmland over there and there's usually lots of cows in that field. There's also the private wood over there. So there's lots to explore, lots of areas to explore. Even when you're on the hill fort, there are pathways um, that you, I've not really explored yet. And when you come along here, for example, there's always lots of junctions. Okay, it won't take you up skirting row barrow one way. Right, up that way, or you can go down through there, or you can come around this way. These both link up, these two. But I've, I've gone up that way quite a few times on the way back to Cheddar. And I always had this rule, because of buses really, by half past two, 
three o'clock, you have to turn back. All right? If you don't think you'll make it when the way you're the way you're going, turn back. We can't turn back now. We can't go to Cheddar. I could go up there and go to Winscombe, but I'm going to leave that for another day because today I said I would do the hill fort. And I am. Right, over and I'm just going to take a picture of this lovely scene.